Um, it is Jan Krompad from Corret Group. Uh, he is a staff member and of the service center quality. And we'll talk about the use of spectroscopic methods in retail. So uh, Jan, we are happy to listen to your story. Okay, good morning, everyone, and thank you for the kind introduction, Karen. So, um, hi, everyone, my name is Jan Krompad, and I am a member of the quality department of Colorado Group. And of course, first of all, I really would like to thank Ilvo Flanders Food for the kind invitation to present this topic to you today. And I will be giving a short testimony on the use of spectroscopic methods in retail and production. Whenever the pointer one, yes, okay. So uh, I will be starting by giving a short explanation on Colorado Group and the history, development, and general principles on how we are using spectroscopy. And then afterwards, we'll be answering some key questions on why and how Colorado Group has chosen to use this technology. So for the members of the audience who don't know Colorado Group, Colorado Group is a family business which has, which has evolved into a retail group. We often say that we evolved from a family business into a family of businesses. We were founded back in 1928 as a wholesale goods business, but now we have a very diverse portfolio of food and non-food formats in Belgium, France, and Luxembourg. We have over 600 of our own stores, almost 600 affiliates and independent stores, and over 20 brands in retail and wholesale, of which some of the more popular in Belgium are Colorat Lagste Preise, Colorat Meilleur Prix, OK, Bioplanet and Cru. But we also have our own food production site, which is called Five Food, and which are active in many different activities, such as meat, cheese, coffee, wine, rice, bread, and also in vertical farming. As suggested by names such as Five Food and Cru, quality and authenticity have always been primordial for our company. Which is why in 2019, we've started working with spectrometers, which were internally called scanners. The scanners and the development of the models, which is very important, that has been em emphasized a few times today, was done by our partner, Expectrum. Expectrum is offering us handheld NR spectrometers, which are very easily implementable with existing IT material. And of course, they're also offering us a cloud-based online platform for interpreting and managing our results in a very convenient way. Now, um, the general principles on how we're using this technology is, of course, based on a model. This has been emphasized a few times today, so I won't go really into detail about it. But Spectrum is offering us the possibility of, in the first place, creating our own model, or they create a generic model for us, which can be used as well. Besides this, um, after us, of course, the model has to be compared with a scanned spectrum. The spectrum which we're using is based on reflectance and IR spectroscopy. Then afterwards, the model and the spectrum are being compared by artificial intelligence and more specific machine learning to give us a very easily interpretable and, of course, correct result. Now, the main goals on why we are using this is in the first place to serve as a screening tool. We're not looking for any way to replace accredited analysis, but we're looking for a way to scan more samples, to be more sure that all the samples which we're using are compliant. And for that purpose, uh, spectroscopy is a very terrific tool. Of course, we're only using it to analyze specific parameters. It should be noted that there is no one key fits all when it comes to analysis. For so we cannot use it for everything, but for specific parameters on specific products, but I will come more into detail about that later on, we are using spectroscopy. Now, uh, why has Colorado Group chosen to use it? Um, the, in our opinion, the most important advantages in the first place is that we're really increasing the amount of controls. Uh, for the two cases, which I will be discussing later on, the amount of controls which we were able to do has increased by a factor 100 to 200 by using the spectroscopy. It's a very easy method to use, and we, we, this is why we, it has increased such tremendously. We can also now send a deliberate sample selection for an accredited analysis. So the sampling now is really being done still at random, and afterwards the non-compliant samples can be sent for an accredited analysis afterwards to be 100% sure. Of course, for the raw materials in the factory, it's a great advantage that the method is non-destructive as well. And of course, the method is really fast. Once you've set everything up and you've started measuring in a matter of some mere seconds, you can have your result. Of course, it's also very user-friendly and easy to use. Uh, after a very short training, the 
uh, and IR spectrometers, which we're using, can be used by almost anyone. And this makes them also quite easy to implement in existing procedures. And of course, uh, in my opinion, a very important advantage as well is that we're increasing awareness of quality and food rot in production since we have chosen to let some of the analysis be done by our production staff. So the production workers are themselves now contributing to our quality system. They are, they are doing the analysis, they're using it, and they're becoming more and more aware. So this is, um, in my opinion, a very powerful tool to enhance the food safety culture, which is, of course, becoming more and more important uh, nowadays. So now, um, finally, I will uh, give some two concrete cases on how we are using it. The first one is one in our food production site. We're using it for a quality control analysis. In this uh, case, we're using um, spectroscopy to screen chicken fillets in our production plants. What are we exactly testing here? The water content of the chicken fillets. The water content of the chicken fillets, of course, a very important quality parameter, but of course, it's also quite an food fraud because um, unfortunately, there are some fraudulent practices where saline solutions are being added to chicken fillets, and then you can, of course, sell water as if it were chicken. So these chicken fillets are then being screened by our production workers, and this is being combined with the visual quality check. By combining the visual quality check with the spectrometry, it was very easy to implement. And of course, they are, um, as I mentioned before, the food safety culture is really being enhanced because the production workers are now becoming more involved, they're more aware, and they're really contributing themselves to our food quality policy. Okay. Okay. Then, of course, we also have uh, our retail south site, some products which we cannot uh, produce ourselves, but which is, of course, also very important to us. In our retail site, we're mainly scanning nowadays uh, frozen fish fillets by spectroscopy. We're doing this in our quality laboratory, where many other analyses are being taking place as well. And here we're testing uh, species identification based on spectroscopy. We're doing this for different uh, frozen fish products. And here we're mainly avoiding fraudulent practices where cheaper species are being sold as if they were more expensive, expensive species, such as selling an Alaska pollock as if it were an Atlantic cod. Now, um, of course, as I mentioned before, we're not replacing a predated analysis. So we're replacing the, so we're sending the non-compliant samples to laboratories for a DNA analysis afterwards. The frozen fish fillets are being screened by our laboratory staff. So in this case, it's not being done by the production workers. And we're combining this with many other analyses which are taking place in our laboratory, such as, for example, weight control or sensory analysis. Uh, it's so that in both the laboratory and in the food production site, I heard the same comparison being made about an air spectroscopy, which is that some people consider it to be their third eye. And third eye is, in my opinion, a very beautiful comparison on how an IR spectroscopy can be used in different analysis sites. Okay. Then, finally, to summarize everything, some quick uh, main conclusions which I would like to share with you all is, of course, that the use of spectrometry is considered efficient, user-friendly, and fast by us at Colorado. The use of spectrometry has also got multiple other advantages, including the increasing and specifying of controls and also the increase, uh, increases of the awareness and enhancing of the food safety culture. Some successful cases of the past include um, the water content analysis in chicken fillets and the species determination of frozen fish fillets. Of course, Colorado is always looking for other ways to include this technology to guarantee quality and authenticity for all of our customers. Okay, and that was it for the presentation part. Thank you all.